Rich Toronto here with TMC. Thanks for watching. We are at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City for Wearable Tech Expo 2014. On the program, Kathy Kazmai. She is with Ubitech NYC. Welcome to the show. Great. Thank you so much. Really happy to be here. So uh, I want to hear more about your company, please. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, UB Tech is uh, formerly Glass NYC, which is one of the largest Google Glass uh, community of users, developers, designers, and startups anywhere. And uh, given the direction that Google is going now with wearables, we've also expanded, and hence why we're UB Tech. We are in, uh, embracing the ubiquitous technology and interoperability of the technologies of life. So now we are not only focused on Google Glass, but also Android Wear, Android TV, Android Auto, Nest, and so much more. Excellent. And so um, how did you get involved in all this? Yeah, I, I came across Google Glass uh, over a year ago when I first picked up a pair, and uh, I was uh, really excited from the time that it was revealed at the Google I.O. in 2012. And uh, Having been in tech for 15 years, it was nice to see this sort of new and exciting device and shift towards wearable technologies where we'd been used to computing uh, in terms of screens as opposed to computing for users. So uh, I was involved with the early adopters of Google Glass. From, from the beginning, we were an online community, and we quickly expanded over the air to, to meet in, in person in our, in our individual locations, uh, NYC in our case. And as our usership grew, our, our group grew, and we started having events uh, that featured what users were working on, especially creative experiences with Google Glass, and there was a lot of interest, so we sort of took off from there. So you'd be a good person to ask. There's been um, some backlash in terms of people wearing Google Glass in um, some places. Uh, it's interesting that people people sometimes complain about Google Glass wearers, but they tend to get photographed more than they are actually doing any photographing or videoing. So I'm just curious your take on what's happening. Uh, you know, it's understandable. With any new technology, we've seen in history that... Uh, with the public has a lot of questions, and especially when users haven't had the opportunity to try on the new technology, uh, it's hard for them to know exactly what it's about. So with Google Glass, we really recommend that if anybody is wondering what it's about and, and what it's for, to, to actually try it on, because it's not just a, a device for photography. Otherwise, it'd, it'd be a really expensive a photography device and, and not worth worth it. In fact, I'd, I'd say, I'd venture to say most users do not use it for videoing or photography. It's really a, a, a device for receiving contextual inter information and notifications hands-free in a way that's convenient and gets technology out of the way for a less distracting um, interface with the world. Well put, well put. So what other things should we know about what your organization does? Yeah, we're really looking for individuals who are working on projects that are going to embrace the interoperability within uh, anywhere from home automation to just the technologies of life in general. So if you're developing an app for glass that can turn on the lights in your house or turn on your Tesla car, uh, we have a platform for you to come present it and, and, and sort of be the inspiration for other users and developers and startups. Uh, one of the projects that we recently worked on as a team from uh, UB Tech and Glass NYC uh, is an app for Google Glass for City Bike, the bike sharing program that we have in New York City. And what it does is allow quick contextual information hands-free. So if you're on a city bike and you're looking for a docking station or if you're looking to pick up a city bike, all you do is say, okay, Glass, locate a bike or dock a bike. And the next piece of information that you see is all the information that you need to quickly and easily uh, get to that docking station. So you don't have to fumble with your phone when you're on the bike. You don't have to swipe around and zoom in and look around for what's nearby and that information, that kind of information. Instead, we, what uh, wearables is about is delivering that contextual information. So we're really excited about this about this app, and we've had a number of users and interests from City Bike themselves, as well as other bike sharing programs across the country. So we're we're excited to have more users, and and UB Tech in general is excited to have more projects like this come out of our group. Fantastic! Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.